What's up guys, Spericus here and welcome back to the Hank here in Detroit Become Human. Now this is going to be, I think, a very decisive uh, moment now, really, because I don't only want to become, you know, Hank to not become hostile, I actually want him to become our friend, really, not just, you know, um, okay, Hank is a friend, so if we don't piss him off too much, we should be more or less fine. Talk to the Hank, discuss RA9 or something else. Remain logical and cold. He doesn't like us. Hank shoots Connor. Or he basically becomes our friend anyway, so. Hmm. But, well, since we apparently have only two endings around here, it's not really much that you can do. All right. Um, I don't really give a shit about anything around here. We're just going to go straight to Hank. And um, see about what we can do around here. Hey, Hank. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Nice view, huh? Pretty much, yeah. I used to come here a lot before. Before you stuck up a bottle of beer up your ass? You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. <laughs> Pretty much is, yes. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Um, about the suicide, yeah. Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there away at me I don't have the guts to pull the trigger so I kill myself a little every day that's probably difficult for you to understand huh Connor nothing very rational about it we're not making any progress on this investigation the deviants have nothing in common they're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. RA9, but fuck RA9. It could be a software problem that only occurs under certain conditions. Well, that's just a fancy way of saying you have no fucking idea. Pretty much. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. Did you feel anything when you shot those two girls? Fucking bastard. Or were you just executing some program? This is going nowhere, Lieutenant. I think I'll go back to the station. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted. <laughs> Before I can finish this investigation. Well, that's the way to do it. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? You 
You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Damn it, that's not oh, what I wanted. One step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. That he's still a friend for some reason. Where are you okay. Going? Get drunker. I need to think. So this is a bit, a bit, you know, eh. Basically, show fear. Eh. Only two outcomes. It's a bit. It's a bit. Public opinion is still hostile. Couldn't do anything about that one. Really don't know what, 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 how much of a difference you could make or not. Well, people in Jericho don't like me, so that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Just, just like I said in the end of the last episode, after the Pirate's Cove, the game actually gets interesting. I mean, you get this scene between Connor and... What's his face? Hank? Although everything in before wasn't really that much of an issue. I mean, I could have pissed him so much in this uh, one conversation that... Um, we can't stay silent anymore. That he would have shot me anyways. So, you know it's like... Never listen to us. Revealing ourselves put us in danger. If we but we'll see now what we can do the at the end of this. And the, the end of this way. chapter now. Hey, sexy. What do you want to do? I'm gonna tell you guys, like, sexy is also at least 40% accent, man. Fucking hell. Control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Well, that's what you say, buddy. That's what you say. I am still your biggest chance, buddy. I am your biggest chance. So, senora, what time is it? It's too late. It's time for you to go. Okay, what else do we have here over here? Hey, the car. It's about right and this stuff. Good shit. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Hmm. This is Safe Row School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a <laughs> It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. Yeah. Hello, sir. Can Hello. I, for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Now. Let's get this done. Now, it's also funny in this um, mission here, in this chapter, most of the things are really irrelevant. 
Um, only really at the end. Pose as a teacher. Yeah, this is the... Um, blah, blah, blah. This is like a book or something that I haven't found. Nobody cares. Hack the robot or what's the other way to like do this? Now, if you don't lock the door, something will happen if you don't lock the door. But overall, you will continue anyways. And you're on the floor, blah, blah, blah. Over here, it depends on you if you're going to kill those guards or not. If somebody gets damaged or not. And basically then, mainly, if you are... If the public opinion is going to be good or bad, that is a good question. Also, we'll see. I would like to see the third outcome over here. That would be interesting to see what that is. Oh, well, let's see if we can find out or not. Let's see what happens. At any rate, maybe we, maybe we will manage to get out of this one also with everybody intact I mean in the last playthrough that I had really um, we killed Simon and the only reason why I already have uh, the other ending is because well <laughs> I played this level here already I think three or uh, four times I think this is now I think the fifth time I play this mission in particular but to be honest Somehow, I don't mind doing that. Now, I mind doing some of these other, like, um, chapters that we had. Like the Pirate's Cove and, and some of the other of Marcus's. They were really, at the beginning, really shit. And really just time-consuming and, again, shit. And it's, um, you know, pissing me the fuck off. Can I stand in your way? I would like to stand. Damn it! I would like to stand in your way. Damn it! I can't. Mm. Hello, Mr. Dickface. Nice to meet you. Now, that other service android. There you are. Welcome to Deviancy. I need your help. Thank you, Senor Deviant. We're on a race again. We're drag racing. Oh, we're using. <laughs> Damn it. No, oh, he's winning. No, he's winning. Oh, he had an accident, so we won. <laughs> we're the best. All right. Let's go and pick up Sexy. R1, so it's basically the reason, Shit. but we need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it Don't worry, me. sexy. I can do it. Hmm. Oh heck. That's the way to do it, I guess. That's the second one. Ha! Oh no, what's going on? Got it. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Oh shit, the way she says it. I fucking love it, man. All right, also, just like have a look at the flow chart. Um, the door won't get locked, that's fine. North calls 
cradle, whatever that is, cut glass. Well, not really anything, so it gives a damn. Do, do, do. Hello. What the hell are you doing? Hold on, I I can explain. I'm calling security. No. What the hell are you doing? I told you to make sure no one came in. We've come too far to let humans fuck it all up. We've got to move fast now. It won't be long before they know we're here. Good. I pissed off North. That's the way to do it. That's basically my goal in this playthrough. <laughs> so no, it doesn't really like me that much. Here it comes. But then again, you're an android. There are no ladies or non ladies because you're in a machine. Now, even if you're a living being, because genders are not a social construct. Simple as that. Now that doesn't of course mean that any, you know, gender or transgender or, or whatever should be discriminated for anything. But gender is not a social construct and everybody who's saying anything like that is fucking stupid. And I can use this epic scene right here because what else did it do? Now you can also agree to disagree with what I say. But this doesn't change the fact that I think that you're stupid if you think that gender is a social construct. I'm sorry about that. Feel free to comment in the comment section. But I won't allow any, you know, homophobic, transphobic or whatever, anti-something, sexism comments. Because again, I'm far from being homophobic, transphobic, or sexist. It's just that gender is not a social construct. But sexy okay. is one sexy construct, all right? Come on, let's get the others. All right, I'm not sure if she's now pissed more than ever, or if it's just the same as always, or, or because she doesn't like us that much. Uh, let's go into the flow chart here. What does it say? I'm popular on, on, on Jericho. Hostile North, resentful and resentful. Yeah, North doesn't like as much. I like that. I would like her to draw a gun on us at some point. Let's see if this happens or not. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Of course, I have to activate it too, as. God damn it. There you go. All right. So, the moment of truth, pretty much. We need to do it right. Also, I would like to have the public opinion, you know, higher up, not bullshitting. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Now we're gonna ruse. Wait here. Fuck you, North. What's that doing here? No idea. What are you doing? Get over there. Come on. You fat bastard.
All right, Jericho likes us more again. Not that I really wanted to, but I guess it worked out this way. I mean, I would also like it if the people in Jericho would not trust me that much as a leader because I was a really, really good leader for Jericho, but maybe it's also a bit unavoidable to be a good leader or something. Or maybe, I don't know. It, I also think that it doesn't really matter that much in the end, really. <laughs> Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Move your little shits. Nah, yeah. Like this, don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No. Fine. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. Nope. I think I only killed um, what's his name? Um, Message. Jason. Got much time. Pretty much so. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. God damn that accent, man. Marcus, your Shit. face. Shit. Sure. Tell me when you're ready. Always ready. Ready. This time we're gonna be calm. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand the right to vote, and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity our hopes and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! All right, to be honest, I like that other, other speech much better with the determined one, which is like, much more, you know, determined. This is... A message, but it is also a warning. Give us or you're gonna die. I like this one actually. Better, but um well we'll see how that how this will all lead us Let's go. to somewhere or not. Simon, they're coming! I I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! I'm gonna save Simon. Now wait we're I'm gonna save Simon. What are you doing? Hurry! I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. 
We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I won't kill one of our own. Fuck you, North. Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. What if I just stand still? Stand away. Nope. North is still going to save us. Okay. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. Be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Obviously, you can. Androids are nice people. Totally freaking nice people. Anyways, we get some extra points here and there, but overall, I don't care. So, leave Simon or execute Simon? Yeah, okay, so we have the third one. 50% really uh, left him behind, well, because most people don't shoot him, but most of the time he gets shot. Um, jump, 99% jump, the other percent um, north helps them. Yep. Get shot. No, that's the, okay. Don't care. Anyways, like, why is it only here 99? Marcus, Marcus couldn't have died until this point already. It was impossible for Marcus to die. I tried my best, but it wasn't really possible. Yeah, well, all right, guys. Um, that's about that. Thank you very much for watching. It's um. Shoot the guard on the phone. Yeah, draw the gun. Attack, attack, attack. Good, good, good. What do we have here? North stuns the employee, only 50%. Yep, 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 yep. Draw the gun. Yep, 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 yep. All right, guys. Um, Shit's going to go down now, finally. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure to bring a peaceful story and that the public opinion is more or less fairly indifferent, which is like 50-50. So um, basically... America as it is today. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching again. Don't forget to press the like button down below for our nice message to the people. And I will see you in the next episode of Detroit Become Human. Let's see what's going to happen then. See you then. Peter's in. My name is Kara. My name is Marcus. My name is Connor. This, this is, is our, our story. story.